Becoming practically synonymous with the Order itself, the lightsaber had been the weapon of a Jedi for millennia, assisting them in their mission to uphold peace and justice across the galaxy. But although the Jedi were committed to peace, some of the Order's members pursued a path wherein they focused upon and developed an expertise in the art of physical combat using the Force. These Jedi were known as Jedi Weapon Masters, and in order to achieve this title, they had to master a weapon separate from their mastery achieved with a lightsaber. In this video expose, I will describe the exotic weapons mastered by those Jedi who obtained the rank of Jedi Weapon Master. Jedi Weapon Master was a title that was granted to members of the Jedi Order for centuries. It was an achievement that was given to those who pursued a mastery of exotic weapons or unusual combat styles which was the result of a Jedi study of the Force that focused on combat. The title was only available to those who obtained the rank of Jedi Master within the Order, and was generally pursued by those who were on the path to becoming a Jedi Guardian. This isn't surprising, given that Guardians focused on perfecting their skills for battle, concentrating on martial training in combat to a greater degree than Jedi Consulars and Sentinels. Although the title had been granted by the Jedi High Council for hundreds of years, the exact qualifications for becoming a Jedi Weapon Master wasn't developed until many years after the title was created. These qualifications were set out by Jedi Master Crick Sunburris in the important text, The Jedi Path, a manual for students of the Force. Having mastered the use of a lightsaber, Potential candidates would then devote years to studying and perfecting their skills in the art of a new weapon that was chosen by them. This process produced some of the greatest warriors of the Jedi Order, who were respected not just by other Jedi, but non-Jedi as well. But what types of weapons would these masters pursue in their studies outside of the traditional lightsaber? Some of the instruments weren't as exotic as others as a Jedi could become a Weapon Master by mastering the use of a double-bladed lightsaber or lightsaber pike. Not differing too greatly from their original single-bladed lightsabers, double-bladed lightsabers, of course, were those that emitted two blades from a single hilt. A lightsaber pike was a weapon that consisted of an elongated spear-like hilt that emitted a lightsaber blade that was shorter and thicker than a standard lightsaber. Jedi Weapon Masters could also devote themselves to the use of quarterstaffs, which were simple, staff-like melee weapons. Quarterstaffs came in varying sizes depending upon the preferences of the user, but they were generally constructed using light alloys or even wood. One of the more exotic weapons pursued by potential Jedi Weapon Masters was the San Ni Staff. These staffs were a melee weapon that consisted of three metal rods that were connected together through the use of power couplings. San Ni staffs were one of the most difficult weapons that could be pursued by a Jedi Weapon Master, but it offered unique advantages that were not available through the other weapons. The staff was extremely discreet, as when deactivated, the weapon was only 50 centimeters in length, allowing it to be concealed easily. Once activated, the weapon unleashed two devastating stun prods on both ends of the staff. The electrical charge produced by the weapon was powerful enough to remove limbs and obliterate flesh. Even non-direct strikes could produce severe burns. The San Ni staff even allowed its user to defend themselves from lightsabers, as the power couplings could be used to parry and block incoming lightsaber strikes. In addition to these weapons, a Jedi Weapon Master could devote themselves to the use of blasters, whips, flails, and even swords, with the latter being a natural extension from their skills with a lightsaber. But outside of physical weapons, Weapon Masters could also pursue the study of hand-to-hand -hand combat, whereby they would master the ways in which to use their own bodies as an effective weapon. In order to be recognized and receive the title of Jedi Weapon Master, Jedi would only have to master one of the previously mentioned weapons. Having perfected their skills in such a way, they were considered to be the greatest fighters within the Order. So there we have it, the exotic weapons used by Jedi Weapon Masters.
We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions? Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For Rask Talasoo.